welcome to this new video, which will be my reading wrap up for October. Um, in total, in total, I actually really read four books. Like, I technically went through a few non-fictions, but I more skimmed through just the tab stuff for later. But uh, in total, it all came out to 1,348 pages read for the month, which I'm happy with. But first, there are a few books I skimmed through. I'll just talk about I don't want to dig them out and show them, but it was uh, tarot for beginners because I'm still trying to learn how to read tarot and it's very hard and the information will not stick in my brain. Um, it's just a book I usually use to skim through whenever I use a tarot deck that doesn't come with a booklet, if that makes sense. Um, and then I skim through the Green Witch and I just tab some for, like information I think that'd be helpful for me, like, oh, you can do this with herbs and properties of herbs and oils and how to make things and all sorts of stuff like that. And then uh, the fundamental book of sigil magic, which I kind of understand sigils, it's just learning more about them and the information of them. Um, kind of what you can use them for, because I know how to make sigils and stuff like that. Yeah, and then the actual books I read, which I know I just uploaded this vlog, finally. But I read, first it was The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Battle for the Pumpkin King, graphic novel, which was fun, entertaining. It was a quick read. I love the artwork of it. It's all in color. It's, you know, fun. It's about, um... Jack Skellington and Oogie Boogie when they were younger, and obviously um, the Pumpkin King was retiring or whatever, so he's like, oh hey, uh, do these things and we'll see who wins who becomes the new Pumpkin King. Of course it was fun and chaotic and funny, and of course if you know the Nightmare Before Christmas story, like you've seen the original movie. Uh, you know, Jack Skellington is obviously the Pumpkin King. <sighs> and then him and Oogie Boogie become rivals rather than friends. So, yeah. Um, and then I got caught up with a couple manga series. I read volume 35 of My Hero Academia. Um, I don't remember much of what happened. I... There was a chunk where it talked about a bit of Toga's backstory, which was kind of interesting because I always want to, she was one of the characters I wanted to know more about where I feel like they didn't really talk about her much. Um, and then of course there's more drama with the Todoroki family and yeah. You, do, you know this series, you know the drill. <laughs> um, and then I read volume 11 of Legends of the Twilight Princess, which I'm pretty sure is the final volume. Um, which is kind of sad, but also kind of nice. Um, yeah. Twilight Princess is one of my all-time favorite games. And, yeah, I don't know, it was just kind of more fun, because I... Haven't been able to finish the game. I always get stuck and confused. Hold on. Sorry about that. My cat was scratching at the door. But, um, yeah. I always kind of get stuck in video games. So it was nice to see the story play out in, like, graphic novel form. It also kind of helps me understand the lore a little bit better. So, yeah. I liked that. And then finally, I read Branches, which is the first book in what I think is going to be a trilogy, as far as I'm aware. And it's a Twilight rewrite, but better. 
because um, sometimes you can see things that Stephanie Meyer did in Twilight in that series that seemed a little <sighs> iffy or maybe a little problematic or whatever. Just things that don't sit right and it just makes you uncomfy and you're just like, no, I don't like that, no thank you. This is better. There is actual diversity in it. Um, it's a little more action. Like, it's more like, oh, it's not all romance or all action packed. You kind of get both, a good amount of both. And it's just, you get, you get the diversity and everything you want diversity in. And everything actually feels more accurate in places it should feel more accurate. I'm sorry, it's really hard to explain this without like spoilers, but it's just better. I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm really excited for the next book to come out. So yeah, that is my reading wrap up for October. And yeah, so um, I really hope you get ooh, whoa. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!